you guys I need to talk to you guys about this situation that happened to me I'm on my way to go pick up Jalen but I have to tell you guys what happened okay hold on <laughs> so there's a friend of mine who I've known for about maybe five or six years give and take um um I I met him when I was in North Dakota he used to come into my old job like all the time right anyways that's neither here nor there but okay so he ends up here in California because he works in the oil field I met him through when I was with my kid's dad he was like a, a mutual friend or whatever so he's up ends up here in California and he's like um hey let's hang out or whatever like let's meet up blah 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 I haven't seen you guys and I was kind of telling him like you know we're not together anymore blah 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 so we so then he's like oh okay well let's catch up or whatever so then I'm like cool so then I meet up with him and like thinking like it's gonna just be like a normal like you know like meeting my old friend like you know I never thought about this guy any other way than a friend so apparently he has thought about me differently and so we're hanging out and he's like oh we should like we should hook up and like all this stuff and I'm like where like th like we have not ever even once had this type of conversation I'm not thinking that way I'm not feeling that way like at all so then he's like well you're not with him anymore so blah blah and I'm like that doesn't mean like I am ready to date or like you're who I want to date like anything like that you know so he gets mad you guys he literally got mad like to the point where he was just quiet and like he was just like um oh so I guess I can't change. I'm like dude like low-key I haven't even seen him since maybe like I haven't seen him in like two years probably because like we were out there and he was out there but he travels a lot and then like it's not like I've seen him or talked to him so when I so seeing him is still weird it's like seeing someone you know but you haven't talked to in a long time so for him to come at me like that was just totally like what is this so I feel like he had no reason to be mad I just, he really had those intentions thinking that he was gonna come and hook up with me and that's so not what was gonna happen or even was a thought like men these days you guys like how am I supposed to date if that's all men want like this is exactly why I stayed with the same person for 12 years like it is crazy at least I knew what I was dealing with at that with that but this is just like a whole nother thing and it's like I thought you would think it'd be easier because it's somebody that I know but I guess not like he was totally bold like people just really think because you're not with somebody no more that you know it's free for all for them and I'm like heck no no you know and it's just like man it just it just I don't want to say it blew my self-esteem but it just made me think about guys a whole lot worse now like why I don't know why he would think that he never even like said oh I liked you I've been like nothing he was just like oh so should we hook up like no I'm not going to hook up with you so that's how my morning went <laughs> very adventurous right so now I'm about to get Jalen and go home and eat because I'm just like I don't even want to talk to nobody I don't want to text nobody I like he killed it for all men I was thinking like oh maybe I can start to get out there dating <sighs> guys this is just not not for me I guess dating is not for me because this is just no bueno like I really thought it was going to be a little different. I really did. Good morning, you guys. We're walking to my car. Today, I have to volunteer at JJ's class. So I'll be in his class for three hours. I don't think I could vlog anything or vlog much, but I'm going to try. So this should be interesting. I want to see how he acts. I want to see what goes on in his class let me put him in the car so we're supposed to the parents are supposed to volunteer once a month hold on a second okay 
parents are supposed to volunteer once a month and I just like never really like signed up so I was like let me sign up and just see you know um what it you know let me just sign up and then do a day and see and then I'll keep going from there but they get out of school what day do you guys they get out of school June 15th so like Try to put you guys on my car mount. They get out of school June fifteenth, so I don't have many like lo much longer that I have to really worry about it. But I'm very excited. I'm interested to see what um what it's gonna be like. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. We're on our way to head to school now. Jada looks beautiful today. You wanna say hi? <laughs> JJ said hi in the back. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to head to school and get this get this over with. I'm sure I'll have some stories for y'all when we're done, um, when we get back. So that should be. You can't be vlogging in the school. I can't be vlogging in the school? Mm -mm. Why not? Because you sit down. Oh. You would be sent out. I'll be sent out. But y'all heard it first. I can't be vlogging at school because I'm gonna get, get I'm gonna get sent out. So I can't necessarily vlog with my camera. So I'm gonna try to vlog with my phone as much as I can. But here's all the kids playing. It's JJ and his friends. He's obsessed with bikes. And then there's some more kids over here. And then I think that's it. There's nobody in the sandbox. Hi! JJ playing basketball with his friend. So we're just getting back from me being in Jalen's class. It was so fun. It wasn't what I expected. I thought it was gonna be a bunch of like four-year-olds crying and just a big mess. It was not at all. There is nowhere to Park. So yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be like at all. Is it the parallel park? I don't know if I can fit in there. It wasn't nowhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It was so fun. It was so cute. And there's this one girl in his class named um Eileen. Oh my god, that girl is so silly. And like she was talking to me the whole time. 